<laughs> um, thank you all for braving the weather this morning. Uh, you know, living in Colorado, you just never know what you're going to get. So uh, you guys are hearty souls, and I really appreciate it. This is the second in our Smart Grid series, uh, three, three programs. The first one was the vision of Smart Grid. Of course, this one is the technology challenges of Smart Grid. And then on November 2nd, we have the policy challenges of Smart Grid. So um, if you are interested in coming on November 10th, uh, please hand us your card or something. Let us know so we can just go ahead and put you on the um, attendee list so you don't have to send a note to us. But I really want to thank Bay Green Benson for sponsoring the program this morning. They're one of the founding um, members of the Colorado Clean Tech Industry Association. Uh, if you're not aware of us, we're br brand new, started in January of this year, and we represent the entire clean, spec clean tech spectrum of companies in the state of Colorado, and our goal is to grow the, grow the industry here. So I am just going to go ahead and hand it over to Rex, and he will be running the show this morning. Thanks a lot, Chris. Um, you know, we got a small crowd, so uh, we'll probably uh, we'll probably be uh, in informal. Uh, as Chris said, you know, the uh, uh, the format or the the topic today is is really uh, uh, t technical challenges to uh, designing, implementing, and managing uh, smart grid. Um, uh, I'm Rex O'Neill. I head our I head Fagery and Benson's clean technology practice. Uh, we represent uh, both emerging and mature uh, clean technology companies, uh, both here in the U.S. and in the EU and, and in China. Um, uh, I represent Fagri on the on the board of directors of CCIA. And, and before we leave today, I'll, I'll have to make a pitch for uh, for CCIA membership because one of the responsibilities I have, along with um, Roxy Pavlagar here from Magpie, is. Uh, is we work on the membership committee. Um, you know, the format for today's program is we're going to have a short keynote address um, by by Dave Markham uh, from a Lockheed uh, Missile and Space Systems uh, company, and uh, uh, Dave is the director of concept development uh, at, at Lockheed, and. Uh, 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 Dave will stick around after his speech to kind of participate in our, our uh, panel discussion. Uh, our additional panelists are, are, are Frank Barnes, who's a professor of computer and information uh, systems uh, at University of Colorado. Um, Dave Cohen, who is uh, CEO of, of Infotility, who is a software provider in the smart grid space. And Marsha Martin, who is a, a lead designer at Magpie, who is also a software uh, a services company uh, with over 30 years of experience in, in uh, complex networks. Um, you know, I'm now going to turn it over to uh, to, to Dave Markham. Markham, uh, uh, you know, Lockheed Lockheed has, has been working in the energy space for a while. Um, you know, it, 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 its energy uh, activities <coughs> are include smart grids, microgrids, storage, energy efficiency, and uh, uh, the missiles and space company uh, uh, collaborates closely with, with other divisions of, of Lockheed in, in implementing uh, smart, grid, smart grid solutions. Something I saw that was interesting on Dave's uh, bio is that um, He's also president of the Lockheed Martin Commercial Launch Services, um, which markets the uh, Atlas V uh, launch vehicle. Um, so I'll turn it over to Dave, and um, I think I'll just have you come up here and, and drive your own slides. Um, thank you very much. 